Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the system PTE misuse error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should take in consideration is to disable the PTT security in BIOS. First of all, restart your PC and while your system boots just keep pressing the F2 or the delete key to enter the BIOS screen. Now just use the arrow keys to navigate to the security tab or a similar sounding tab inside BIOS. In here select an option named PTT or PTT security and set it to disabled. Now simply navigate to the exit section and then choose to exit saving changes. This will proceed with the computer's boot. Another useful solution is to set the TPM as hidden. To do this first you have to restart your PC and while your system boots just keep pressing the F2 or the delete key to enter the BIOS screen. Afterwards, just use the arrow keys to navigate to the security tab or a similar sounding tab inside BIOS. In here, select an option named TPM and set it to hidden or disabled. Now simply navigate to the exit section and choose to exit saving changes. Now your PC will restart and apply the changes made. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run a quick SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here, just type the following command or copy-paste it from the description below and then press enter. This type of scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, you can just restart your PC and check if the problem still occurs. You can also update Windows 11 to fix this problem. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then in here on the left pane, scroll down until you find the Windows Update section and select it, and afterwards, just click on the blue Check for Updates button on the right side. Now wait until Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC. And lastly, another useful solution is to update the drivers. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. In here on the left pane, scroll down until you find and select the Windows Update section. And then on the right side, scroll down until you find the advanced options and select them. Again in here, scroll down until you find the optional update section under additional options. And then in here, just click on the driver updates menu and then select any optional updates and click on the blue download and install button. Now just wait until the updates are installed and restart your PC. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.